Great morning, Highland. Today is Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. I'm Millie Knapp. And I'm Delaney Miller. In, In the, the morning. morning. Welcome to today's edition of the Highland Buzz Network. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Highland High School is currently looking to step the Feckley Charitable Foundation and the Kiwanis Club of Medina Students of the Month Committee. The student-led panel will meet once a month and will choose a well-deserving senior based on multiple achievements in, se in several categories, including leadership, scholastic standing, service, employment, athletics, and awards. If you are interested in joining the committee, please email Ms. Marshall of no later than Friday, September 18th. The Science Club will meet after school today until 3.30 in room B128. Please check Remind Google Classroom for updates on the butterfly tagging. Come join us and see what the club is all about. See Ms. Nerlich if you have any questions. Attention to those in interested in bullying this year. Tryouts for the bullying team will be November 4th and 7th at the AMF Riviera Lanes in Farallon. You must attend one tryout date, but you are welcome to attend both. Looking for practice time? Open gyms start this month on Wednesday the 27th. Cost is $1 and including shoes. See you there. The Plant-Based Food Club will meet on Monday during 7th period in room B128. There is always a vegan dish prepared for the sharing and great time for discussion on the plant-based diets. Come join us. See Ms. Nerlich if you have any questions. The Steel Stingers robotic team is starting at meetings for the year. The robotics team features opportunities in programming, electrical and mechanical engineering, 3D modeling and 3D printing, and web design. The first robotics team meeting will happen on Wednesday, September 20th from 2.30 to 4.30 in the Media Center and then meetings will happen every Monday and Wednesday from 2.30 to 4.30. If you can't make the first few meetings, please email Mr. Rudolph to get put on the team's roster. Attention all students, if you have not updated your final forms in the 2023-2024 school year, please check your email. Click on the link and update your final forms. If forms are not updated by this week, you will be called down to the guidance office during ALL to update. Student athletes, if anyone is looking for some part-time work, Northgate Tire is looking for Highland athletes. Job would entail unloading containers of tires. They will accommodate any time slots needed, but ideally would need after school from 3 to 6. If interested, please contact Mike Hill using the following contact information. Key Club is hosting a Highland Support Network drive for members in our community. The drive will run Monday, September 11th through Friday, September 22nd. We are collecting any kind of healthful living items such as toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, toilet paper, washcloths, hair products, deodorant, band-aids, etc. Bins will be at the front of the school near the main office. Drop your items in the bins at any time in the school day. Our girls cross country team is off and running this year and doing great things. Here is a feature of the girls varsity cross country team and a look into their season. As the fall season has approached, the Highland Hornets varsity cross country team has been gearing up. They have spent most of their summer outside running nonstop. Let's get to know a few of the girls cross country runners and their coach, Mr. Lippincott. 
I'm Grace Liebeck, I'm a senior. Okay, I'm Emily Reini and I'm a senior. I've been running since seventh grade, so I'm going into my sixth year of cross country. I've been running since eighth grade. My name is Mr. Lippincott and I am the girls cross country coach and I'm also the boys head track coach. My favorite thing about cro coaching cross country is that it's a completely different sport than anything else. No matter what, you're going to have a different course every weekend. I was just saying that makes our sport different is kind of how it's like you perform as an individual, but it, like it kind of contributes to the whole team score. A typical high school course is 3.1 miles or a 5,000 meter race. My favorite part is going to pasta parties and Friday runs. My favorite part of the cross country season, I enjoy bonding with my teammates. We just have a close team bond. We do like team bonding activities. We tie dye at the beginning of the season every year together. It really does take a complete summer of training, of uh, doing really long runs. Some of our kids will run up to 13 miles in one run. I'm just really looking forward to like seeing myself improve and then everyone as a team improve. So we've had like a lot of freshmen come up on the team and I'm really excited to see how they're going to be running by the end of the season. The main goal this year, we're just we're trying to win, win the league and return to our glory in the league. And there you have it, an inside look on the girls cross country team. We wish you the best of luck this season and hope you make it far. Hey Hornet Nation, here's another great addition to SSS. Welcome back to our second week of SSS, and it was another amazing week for Highland Sports. To kick off the report, the football team won 28-7 against Talmadge to stay undefeated in the Suburban League. Over the weekend on Saturday, the boys and girls cross-country team were running late to homecoming as they had a meet at Boardman High School. Boys placed 25th out of 40 teams, and the girls cross-country team placed 14th out of 35 teams at the Spartan Invitational. The boys and girls golf team aren't putting around. The girls team won at the Christine Terlinski Memorial Tournament and brought home the trophy, while the boys team beat Barberton 161 to 189. On Monday, the girls soccer team beat Buckeye 4 to 0 to break the school record of most wins in a row. Great effort to our volleyball team as they put up a good fight against Aurora one set to three. The boys soccer tied 1 to 1 in a close game against Kent Roosevelt. And finally, girls tennis made a racket against Aurora last night in a match of 3-2. to two. That does it for today's announcements. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Hornet. Hornet.